and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Carrie Oderman with UATV. Some 50,000 people rallied in central Moscow on Saturday to demand fair elections. The largest demonstration in a series of protests this summer that has rattled the Kremlin and posed the biggest political challenge to Russian President Vladimir Putin in years. The protest was officially authorized, but dozens of people were arrested as they moved to other parts of the city. To talk more about the current situation in Russia, we're joined today in the studio by Vladimir Zhubankov. He's a lawyer and expert at the House of Free Russia in Kiev. Hello, and Hello. thank you for joining us. Thank you. These demonstrations didn't actually start out about Vladimir Putin. They started out dealing with the Moscow city elections. Would you give our viewers some background to that first? Of course, thank you very much. Uh, Firstly, the massive political crisis, uh, crisis, of course, it is the fault of Putin's administration. Uh, but when this crisis began, uh, there were, uh, it um, comes from nowhere, because the uh, Moscow city Duma is not the uh, main actor on the political scene. And uh, there was uh, not so much of uh, real opponents of uh, regime, only 15, uh, but if if all they come to the Moscow uh, City Duma, there are 40 people, uh, and it was not a problem. But the uh, regime decided uh, not uh, to work with opposition and uh, give them no opportunity to come for the elections, not even for Duma, and even for, for elections. And it was uh, did. Uh, so uh, brutal and uh, uh, maybe harsh uh, that it uh, uh, causes really anger not from only uh, these uh, politics and uh, their fan clubs and uh, but from all uh, people not only in Moscow but in Russia for example uh, yes the day before yesterday uh, the actions was in 40 uh, cities in Russia not only in Moscow. Uh, the biggest was in St. Petersburg, but there were smaller cities uh, where we didn't see any protests for years and years, maybe from 19s. But today we see these protests all over the Russian Federation. Some political commentators said these protests in other cities that perhaps weren't authorized would be a real litmus test for how the Russian populations changing their feelings towards Vladimir Putin and his uh, strong-handed ruling. Um, it's not easy to protest in Russia. In 2014, they introduced several laws. If you get caught protesting three times, I think you can end up in for five years in jail. Even yes. one person picketing is up to three years. What does this say? First of all, were the protests in these other cities authorized or were they spontaneous? Uh, latest protests, they are not spontaneous uh, because the uh, crisis we see it more than four months and uh, it was the actions of solidarity with Moscow protests and uh, about all the situation the main pillar of Russian regime is fear and of course all this legislation about the right of assembly uh, it uh, was uh, made uh, to uh, bring real fear of a criminal cases, because before it, it was only administrative measures and uh, uh, some mon mm, <coughs> money restrictions and s s something like this. But now you can be put in, uh, in jail, uh, all your financial accounts will be frozen and uh, it is, uh, it is uh, they do it without any uh, judge procedures. It's only administrative procedure. There is specific de financial department and if he thinks that uh, you do some political activism or fun financing it or something like this, they block all your accounts and uh, you even uh, can't have your pension money or something like this. Uh, but uh, we see Putin's regime for 20 years in this August. Uh, it's 20 year yes. anniversary, yes. <laughs> it's big, big anniversary and uh, this is the uh, lo longest period uh, so, so for the last 
hundred years, I think, uh, and uh, all are very tired of his administration, of his uh, uh, ruling manner, and uh, there is a big economic crisis, big political crisis, because uh, this uh, electoral crisis is. It is not only one. We see uh, the big garbage protests in Shias on the north of Russia. We saw big urbanistic protests in Yekaterinburg. And uh, even a small case could bring a big uh, company of protests. And uh, it, uh, it is the system problem of regime. And of course, the main author of this political crisis is the Putin regime. Too harsh measures, uh, no will to speak with people, uh, and uh, only uh, it, I could could uh, I could call it a war with its own people, and when you see uh, this uh, on YouTube or on TV, uh, even if you are uh, no nothing about politics, but when you see big uh, black men with uh, uh, some ammunition and uh, uh, people in uh, t-shirts and why they st st have a strike with them, uh, you can't uh, think nothing good about regime because it's awful visions. It's rather un unequal, the, um, the things that are happening now. Now let's talk more about the fear. This demonstration on the weekend was authorized. However, the Kremlin did find ways to discourage people from attending. Are you familiar with some of those ways? Yes. Uh, no. Firstly, it is a bit of absur absurd government-approved protest. <laughs> but Russian legislation gives us such a material. Uh, but, uh, for example, mm, the, the, at, at Saturday, there was uh, two um, two parts. The first part, uh, part big, big part for three or more hours with concert, with speeches, where we see uh, fifty uh, thousand people. And second part, when all these people uh, went to Moscow, uh, to, to to the city, and uh, they were blocked by um, policemen and uh, paramilitary. Uh, uh, called Ross Guardia. It's not army, not police, so something behind it. I call it paramilitary forces. Uh, and um, they uh, provoked, police provoked conflicts. Uh, they, for, for example, they come to the street from one side, from the other side, and began to move uh, uh, in front of each other. And all people who are between them were beaten, uh, were arrested, and so, so, so on. And we all saw it, and it's awful. Uh, but we did all see it, and this is the other side of fear, though. Now, in the area era of social media, we're seeing the faces of these men, these security men, that are punching women in the stomach. That we are can't see their faces. They're in masks. <laughs> But some are identifiable. Yeah. Yeah. Is, there, are, is there a campaign within Russia to name and shame these people that are participating in this? Yes, there, there is such a campaign. For example, today they found a, a man uh, who beat a young uh, woman uh, at Saturday in stomach yes. and after then uh, at, at head and so, so on. And uh, there was a big campaign in the less than from 24 hours he was found. And there is a campaign to <coughs> try to find them, and uh, there is a big campaign against it from Russian authorities. And they are trying to frighten such people who are uh, trying to find uh, these policemen and send uh, them to criminal procedures, because what they do is uh, definitely illegal. Uh, and uh, their big, big, big campaign about uh, n n non approved protest because there was only two big meetings that was approved, but all other actions uh, was not approved. And uh, there was new formats uh, of uh, non violence uh, uh, politic work when people come to the center of the city and move somehow discoordinated. There is no center and uh, it is very hard to police to work with it because uh, they can't ca ca 
reach uh, 20,000 people, for, for example. Uh, in uh, Moscow police stations, they could put only 1,500 or something like this. And when there are pro pro protesters, we can see there um, 20,000, for example, like this. Uh, they can't catch them all. And there we can see maybe uh, such uh, libertarian actions when people uh, coordinate with each other on the horizontal level. And we uh, saw a big work uh, near Lubyanka, uh, this, uh, this symbol of fear. And uh, the uh, hundreds of people come, come near it and uh, called that they don't like Putin, uh, that uh, policemen uh, uh, try to shame policemen and so on. And uh, this view um, was really fi 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 uh, fear for Russian authorities, because for them it is sacralic symbols, and when they see protests near Lubyanka or near the Putin's administration, uh, they don't like it, and uh, they uh, answer with violence, and uh, with uh, uh, more and more violence all the time we have for questions right now. It's a very interesting topic. I think it's safe to say that not only the people in Russia are watching, but the whole world is watching. And for the protesters, there's definitely safety in numbers then. That was Vladimir Zhabankov. He's a lawyer and expert at the House of Free Russia in Kiev. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest.